Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to Rope's Podcast for today, Reasoning. And today we're here with Marion Isin. Yes. Okay, aka Boom Fashion. Fashion. <laughs> Welcome to Rope's Podcast. Thank you for having me. Thank you, know you so you're much. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling very. I'm happy. I'm quite happy that you've caught me to come and um, have an interview. So I'm quite excited actually. A little bit nervous. Though. A little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, a little bit nervous, but <laughs> don't yeah. worry, don't yeah. worry. Okay, you're a mother of two. Yes. You're based in the UK. You live in London. Yeah. You are from Jamaican heritage. Yes. Your father is from Westmoreland. Yep. And your mother is from Barbican, Kingston. Uh-huh. Okay, so welcome again. Thank you. So when last have you been to Jamaica? Um, we were there. Let me go. Before COVID. Before COVID. We were planning to go back, but then COVID hit. So we go regularly as much as I can. So I like my kids to know their heritage as well. Um, mm-hmm. My daughter loves it. Um, my nephew came with us. Me and my sister always go together because we're very close. Okay. Close family. So what you do when you go to Jamaica? Visit my grandmother on my dad's side and on my mum's side, her brother. And okay. that so which part, which, which one of the life you're, you're in? Kingston? Our country. Do you know what? I love Kingston because Kingston's a bit like, you know, it's more fast paced, hustle. It's a bit more fast paced. But I like the country, like, especially when, because of the job that I do, mm-hmm. the country's a little bit more relaxed. Okay. So for me, more the country, like, and because my uncle Patrick is up there and I don't have to do much in Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> you're currently working at a, you're currently working within the advice sector mm-hmm. and you're AT qualified accountants. Yeah. What is AT? AAT. Um, I'm a accounts technician, so I'm a qualified accountant. Okay. And I also have a two one in law as well. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you have a two one in law degree. Why fashion? Because I've always loved fashion. I've always loved it from a little child. I've always loved it. When my mom's going to church, mm-hmm. she loved dress up, you know. You know, in a hat and the matching shoes and the bag, and I've always seen my mom wear really nice, different stuff. And my sister also, she has a very eclectic taste. So I like, I like unusual stuff as well. So it's kind of through my mum and my sister where I kind of like fashion. I've just always loved it as well. So you see yourself doing fashion full time? Oh, hundred percent. If I can, if I can get there, or well, not even if, when I get there, yes, it'll be hundred percent. Because you got the qualification to mm-hmm. be wherever you want to be. Yeah. You can be a full time accountant. Yes. You can go and practice law. Been there, done both of them, and I currently, I currently am a um, manager, stroke line manager, stroke team leader, within that kind of um, advice advocacy within the law field. Anyway, that's what I do. You see, that's my full time job. That's the reason why we do this podcast because we want to highlight the rich, educated people in this community yeah. that are doing well. And when we look and see so many youths falling apart because they have no role model to look up to. Mm -hmm. Then here comes this beautiful lady (laughs) doing so much in her community. You're going fashion, you're going off to the the big time. A hundred percent. But I don't, you know what? For me, I feel like we need to start going for the big time. You know, with our, within our community, within the dancehall community, we seem to just sort of stay within one circle, within one genre, where it's just sort of designer, designer, designer. Let's start promoting black designers. Let's start bringing the wealth back into our community. That's what I'm about. I need to, we need to bring the wealth back into the community and show the younger generation that it's not all about being on the road and doing this and doing that to get the, get certain. You can build your own empire, and that's what I'm about. I want to build my own empire. We're talking about generation wealth. 100%. 100%. I can see you getting there. Thank you. I can see you getting there. The plan is to get there. Mm-hmm. Okay, you choose fashion mm-hmm. because you're passionate about fashion. Um, you're also a stylist. Yes, yes. Tell us about the stylist. Um, so, the stylist part of me is so, this is something that I'm trying to more get into. So, for me, like when I'm going out with some of my friends or whatever, some of them might come and say, you know what, I want to wear, get this. What can I wear with? Like my cousin, she'll come and say, you know what, I'm going to, I think one time she, she messaged me, I'm going, Hotty Hotty Johnny's um, dance, and she's done three, four different Hattie, outfits. Hattie, Hattie, Hattie. <laughs> Sorry, movie star Johnny. Osh, Osh, Osh. That's how you know I know you a long time. <laughs> so, movie star Johnny's um, party. 
the, I think it was an all white or something, and she was showing me some of her outfits, and I, I chose the outfit for her and said, look, wear this, this is more suitable for that type of occasion, and that's the type of things I like to do. And that's what I want to get more into, the fashion, styling, celebrities, anybody really, it doesn't even have, you don't even have to be a celebrity. You can contact me and say, look, it's my birthday, can you style me some pieces for my birthday? Um, something different, Either I can make you something or we can go shopping together or I can get pieces and say look, this, this and this, wear yeah, this one first, this one next, but, and so on. That's the type of thing I'd like to do. So, alright, you come to my party the other day, Yeah. Right. you see me in this with a simple jeans, a t-shirt and a, you know? Yeah. So, could you style me? Could you, or could you style oh, me? Oh, I could look definitely up? style you because I'm just going to say here now, I have got the boom fashion, BF932 collection coming out, which is for the men. So I'm going to have some unusual blazers and I'm going to bring some men's shoes in as well that are looking a little bit different. So I would have started in a nice blazer. Because yeah, you, you like smart cash. So I would have done a little blazer, simple t shirt, nice jeans, and nice pair of shoes, or a blinged up trainers by me because I can customize trainers, glasses, tea, anything you want customized. I'll do it. Your, your fashion caught my eyes and uh, I've been watching you for a while mm -hmm. and I've been seeing your clothes start to get more and more into the dance hall, into the culture because mm -hmm. music is fashion, 100%. fashion is music. So there's no, both of them work hand in hand. Yeah. You understand? And when it comes to the dance hall, we say fashion. 100%. Actually, you know what? When it comes to dance hall, we stand out. We 100% stand out. When you, okay, so back in the days, they would say like, you know if we've got on lots of gold chains and gold, me, I like, these are quite small. I used to go on big gold earrings and when I used to go to the, oh, those look like bangles. And I, go, I don't paint no mum because my style is my style. What I wear is what I wear. I don't, I'm not bothered about what people think. This is me, this is my style, and this is how I express myself through fashion. So I used to go to a lot of dancehall parties when I was younger. I still go dancehall now. But um, that's where I kind of look at the style and I notice that, when they even when people are saying, Oh, this is the all the gold earrings are like you'll see it on the front of Vogue though. You will see our fashion. You will see dance hall fashion emulated mm -hmm. in the fashion. Yeah, houses. No, they always take it. They, they take always us, look, don't they come and they look. They look and they will emulate what we've done but maybe add more to it. But because they're out there, they will be noticed for it and think, Oh, that person made that but they look at our style hundred percent and dance hall is my home. Dance hall is where I wanna start first. And make my way up. You're very smart. Well, you're educated. I like the way you're taking advantage of dance hall. You're yeah. pushing your fashion out there, and it's getting there. People are wearing your things. Yeah. You understand? One time gone, there was us into designer things and that. But I can yeah. see your clothes. I can see your your clothesline coming through, mm -hmm. and I can see your fashion show coming through. How, that's something I wanna push for next. I'm working on things behind the scenes. I'm hoping to do a fashion show and a little sort of launch party because I have actually been doing up because we call it upcycling. So what I've got on now, I could change it into another outfit if I wanted to. You know what's going to work well for you? There's a lot of big women in body. Yeah. What can't get no clothes to fit them. Mm -hmm. And you're going to you're going to fill that market. Listen, I've got a little fluffy range coming soon. I've got my fingers in every pie when it comes to the fashion. I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm ready for the challenge and I'm ready to, you know, I want to be global. I want to be big. I want to be, be up there yeah. with people like Vivian Westwood, Alexander McQueen. I want to be up there. You're Why not? There. You're going to be there. With this attitude, you're going to get there. What do you love about being a, f a fashion designer? Do you know what with me is my creations coming to life? And um, my brand, one of my brand ambassadors, I've got three brand ambassadors. I've got um, Hose Shan from the Midlands, so she's more on that side of stuff. I've got um, the artist, Venicious, so she's one of my brand ambassadors, so she'll be pushing a bit more. We've got some work that we're going to be doing together. And then I've got Fabulous, who's like my main front runner brand ambassador. She's always promoting my pieces, wearing my pieces. So with that, I want to sort of push what I'm doing, get my brand ambassadors out there a bit more, do a bit more collab with them, and sort of maybe name a few pieces after them as well. So You can also work with a couple of the male artists then, because UK male artists, yes. UK male artists are doing well. Extremely well. Extremely well. So you can 
so I look into the market and like dressing them and Oh, I want to. Like it's that. not. It's just not the schemas. Remember, I'm bringing out the VF nine three two range. That's going to be the men's range. So I would love to style some UK artists. I'll be styling my other half, Aituki soon. You'll see him in something different very, very wow. soon. Uh, so, yes, of course. <laughs> so I, you'll be one of my main. You know what? <laughs> I met Aituki. He's very quiet. Yeah. But I must tell you that he's big in America. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, I know because he's, I wouldn't say I know, but sometimes. Late at night, it'll be three, four o'clock. Boom, they play my um my music in America. I'm like, mm -hmm, yes, uh, baby. <laughs> I listen to a lot of stuff coming in America. And yeah. Then, um, one of the time before I met him, I think that he was American. Oh, okay. Because I heard I took him playing America more than how he plays in UK. Oh wow, okay, that's good. That's that's you still good. And even Stone Love, I heard Stone yes, Love. Yes, play, play my, Yes. Stone Love play a lot of I took it. I was like, whose artist is this? And then they said UK. I said. Which artists, um, but you know, but we're not here to talk about artists. Uh, no. We're talking about the fashion. <laughs> but we have to bring that in a little bit. A little sense. bit. So, a little okay. Bit. What is fashion for you? Um, for me, fashion is how you wear, it, how you wear your clothes, how you want to wear. Because fashion is you are fashion. You make fashion. I could wear something that costs one pound, two pound, three pound, and make it look like it's more expensive than it actually is. It's how you wear your clothes. That's for me is fashion. How you wear your clothes. For me, when I'm doing my designs, I don't sit down and draw my designs. I visualize it. I think I. You know what? I'll show you a jacket. Let me get up and show you a jacket. All right. See this jacket here. I wanted to make something nice for my sister because you guys probably see her in a lot of her name's Fit by Cause, so she has her own fitness clothing line. And she models a lot of the stuff for me. I said, oh, just wear this for me. But I got up and made this at five o'clock in the morning because I wanted to make something nice for my sister. So you're, you're, you're vision. So I was sleeping because I've been thinking about it all day, like, what am I going to make for her? What am I going to make for her? I want to make her something, a nice little jacket because I know she likes something different. And it just came to my mind. And I just got up and just started making it. And this is what I came up with. Wow. This is beautiful. Sturdy, strong, neat. And that is all hand done. I sit down and I stitch by hand. I do everything by hand. Beautiful. And it smells like when you walk in the rich stores. <laughs> yes. Mm. This is a beautiful number. Thank you. I, I can see this under the, under the party scene and in the music videos. Uh, so I've already um, had a couple of artists reach out to me to make some outfits for them for their video yeah. shoots, the up and coming video shoots as well. But um Okay, what are the skills that is that are necessary for becoming a successful fashion designer? Do you know what? Getting into the fashion industry as a black female from the Caribbean, because a hundred percent I'm representing the Caribbean, I'm representing my Jamaican heritage. We're vibrant, we're lively people. We love everybody, everybody, every, you know, out of many we are one. We love everybody from every community. And I think we're probably the most loving community that, out of all the nations, we're very loving, mm -hmm. very, very loving. So what I want to get out of this, I want to get my fashion out to everybody, not just to one set of people, but I want to start where my home vote base is to dance all first and then make my way up and become worldwide and global. That's what I want to do. There's a, there's a lot of kids going to school right mm -hmm. now and they are interested in, in fashion because you know kids always want to do little things when they're yeah. all looking uniform and yeah. you know, what's your advice for them? Follow your dreams, 100% follow your dreams. I mean look, when I was younger I wanted to be a hairdresser. My mum was like, no, I don't want to be a hairdresser. Her mum was a hairdresser. But she was like, I don't want to be a hairdresser because I read a lot and I study that she wanted me to do something more academic because academically I, do, I was extreme I was in all the high sets at school so she wanted me to stay more on an academic on my academic skills but I'm a very creative person so I did do hairdressing so when I was pregnant with my son I just because I get bored easily as well because I like to read and learn things a lot so I um, studied hairdressing so I can do hairdressing but I didn't follow that path and then I went into um, accounting instead so um, as I said earlier, I'm a qualified accountant, so I've done accounting. Then I've done um, law as well, because I like to read a lot. And I just, and do you know what it is? When you have a son as well, 
he was about 10 and he kept getting, because it's, uh, it's quiet, he looks, he looks a little bit older. I didn't think he looked that much older, but he used to get stopped by the police a lot. So that's how I started reading up on the law and teaching him his rights if you get stopped and so, so he knows he knows everything when it comes to be if you're being stopped in church he knows what to ask for what they're supposed to give you he knows all of that i've schooled him up on that which is something we shouldn't really have to do but it's just the fact that black boys get stopped yeah it is what it is black boys get stopped more often than any any other it is what it is and if we school them on it they will know their rights i feel like within our community we don't know about our rights enough and that's something that i advocate for a lot I like well, social media. Is, right. Social media is, is here now, yeah. so we can make videos, we can send them around, and yeah. we can talk about all these laws, our, our rights, yeah. what to do, what not to do, mm -hmm. and never disrespect the police. Yeah, because if you know your rights, you don't have to disrespect anybody. Once you know your rights, you're fine. How do you stay up to date with the trend in the fashion industry? I use I look at a lot of stuff on Instagram, um, court couture stuff. But uh, for me, I don't try to sort of follow what's going on in the fashion because I want to create my own fashion, my own look, my own design. Because then, if you look at too much of what everyone else is doing, you will end up replicating somebody else's and our image. And I don't want to replicate anybody else. I want to be both fashion standalone. Because you don't want to get caught up in copyrights no. and things no. like that. Too. I've got my own style as well. Okay. Have you ever think of linking up with some of these brands like Fashionista, mm -hmm. um, little, little, pretty little thing? Uh, somebody did say that to me the other day. Um, because, all right, so I have been doing this for a long, long time. And because um, I've sort of made it more public now, I want to establish myself first before I try to do any collabs with anybody. I want to establish and make a name in my own right. And then look at doing the class. I know a collab could probably, if you do a collab with someone, that's when I could, it could probably make me bigger than I am. But for me, for my own personal journey, I want to make my own mark first, and then build on that, and then look at doing collabs with other people. Okay. Or someone. All right. Since you your things start to wear in the in the dance hall, mm -hmm. um, how does how does the response from other people who, who start to get to know you and mm -hmm. start to like your clothes? How does how, how's the response out there? Do you know what I have had? I've actually feel a bit overwhelmed at some at some stage because I've had so much good feedback, so much positive feedback. You've got um Candy Curve. She has been promoting me like crazy, really giving me good promotion. Um, a lot of feedback to other people. Oh, you know, you should go over on this page. Give me a lot of feedback. I have to also big up DJ Bombshell, Bombshell Turbulence. He has been promoting me from day one. A lot of the videos that I've got from some of the artists is when he goes to the parties, he said, do a little video for Boom Fashion Weekly. And he's been really like trying to help me push my brand. He's been brilliant. Obviously, I took, he's always been there from the beginning. He's the one that said to me, why don't you just, because sometimes I'll sit down and do something for myself. He said, why don't you just to put it on Instagram and start selling it? And I'm like, Ugh. I've been procrastinating on this for a good, a good little while. And so he said, just do it. And I just said, you know what, let me do it. And then also, Don Crazy. Don Crazy, any live that Don Crazy only sees me come in the live, he's like, oh, Boom Fashion's here, don't forget about Boom Fashion, um, and his, his wife Aisha, also Precious, Aisha and Precious, when they done the Blue Dice um, mm -hmm. party, I did the Blue Dice trainers for them, so they were sort of one of the first people to sort of wear my stuff out there in the dance hall scene as well, so I have to give big thanks to those guys there. Okay. And obviously my sister, big, big support of everything that I do. Mm -hmm. You know, the fashion industry sometimes can be tricky mm -hmm. and it's up and down and people source the material from abroad mm -hmm. and they they slave labor with people pay them a little bit of nothing and mm -hmm. and what do you believe in and what's the, to work in this fashion business industry well i don't want i don't want to be to be doing because my pieces i don't like I like them to be maybe two or three pieces or four. I don't want to have a whole lot of people in the same yeah, thing. What, what when you start to get in demand? Then I'm just going to keep being creative and thinking of different, different things. Because sometimes you can put out a mm -hmm. put out certain item, mm -hmm. and so it's so much in demand that everywhere everybody want it, and then you would be feeling proud to see the place full. Of, that's like you would see a T-shirt yeah. like this, and you see everyone wearing it 
So you saying about one and three? Maybe because of the scale you are now, you're just yeah. thinking about now signature. Yes, there's one and there's three piece and this and three piece and yeah. that. But it's gonna get big. Then I will cross that bridge when it comes to it and decide how I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna to have to have a good team mm -hmm. behind me because sometimes when you think of certain designs and you've got certain people in your camp. They may think, hmm, I know how to do this, I know where she's supposed to send me to this from, I know where she gets it, and they can go make their own thing as well. So you're scared, of, you're scared of that? I, I wouldn't know. say I'm scared, but I just want to do my thing first, and then when it gets bigger, then I will look at how I'm going to do things. Well, you come on the podcast, so obviously you I'm going to get big. big. <laughs> I'm going to be big. Do you know, not when I get big. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be big. Okay. I'm going to speak that in my life. I'm going to be big. Who influenced you? Um, my mom is a massive influence in my life. A very, I know a lot of people turn around and say, oh, it's Malcolm X. But you know what? It's my mom. She came here. She came here without her mom. She came here. She did what she needed to do. She's, she's bought her house. She's, her house is fully paid for. She's worked hard. She came here. She came here when she was about 16, 17. Worked in Woolworths. Pro, then moved to working in housing and progressed into management. She's worked with My mom is my biggest 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 inspiration one thing i will say she's like for me my female black role model that's my mother okay okay what is your greatest strength and as well as tell us about your weakness i think i've got good very good communication skills i know how to build relationships with people like to communicate to be able to market myself you got a law degree <laughs> <laughs> I know, I should be able to communicate with people, but that is very different. Getting into the fashion industry and the law is two different, very, very different things because getting into the fashion they industry is each other. a lot harder. They both need each yes, other. Yes, they both need each other, but it's a lot harder. It is a lot harder getting into the fashion industry than I would say probably the law side of things. Um, my weaknesses, do you know what? I can't, mm, I get a little bit shy sometimes. Let's take a break here. <laughs> Yo, yeah, man, you can't know what one, one boss, that boss. You're watching the Rope Podcast, you understand? Yeah. This is Axe from Liar Squad. You know, tune into Rope's podcast. Like, share, subscribe. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. We are Boom Fashion here. And trust me, she's taking the place by storm right now. Her fashion is everywhere. Everywhere. And sooner or later, you're going to see her fashion on the high street. Hopefully soon. Okay. Sooner rather than later. What software do you use to create your join and thing like that? Or you don't use software? I don't use any software. Everything so is done by these. By your hands. Yeah. Okay. Tell us about some of the project I, um, you're working on, and what of your pro what what is your proudest piece of garment you make? Oh, that's a good one. Um. So, projects as I've already said, um, I'm gonna bring out menswear. But not it won't be I probably won't be doing trousers and things like that. it's gonna be maybe jackets and shoes or waistcoats and things like that. And also I am bringing out a range of shoes, haute couture shoes for the females. So when you're out in a party, one of different sh designs. That's what I'm gonna do. That's my next project I'm working on. Okay. So at the moment, remember your mum your mum ins inspired mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And but you're the catering for dance hall at the moment. So mm -hmm. what about church people? Church people want to look fashionable too, you know? And then easy for just them, it's like, them look hot, and then fit, and then, you know? I, I, listen, as I've already said, anything anyone wants me to do, if you want me to cut, if you've got a dress that you've worn, mm -hmm. an outfit you've already worn before, and you want me to customize it and change it up and make it look different, I can do that. I can cater for all sizes, all styles, anything anybody wants me to do, I'll put my hand to it and try and do it because I also do remember I do um so I have a little sunglasses, mm -hmm. couple of handbags and things like that. So for me as well, I tell you who I really do like actually in the fashion industry apart from my mum, Vivian Westwood, because I love her style, her actual not what she's not everything that she puts on the catwalk, but her own individual style because she dresses very different and that's what I love because I like to look different, I like to stand out, I don't want to sort of look like everybody else. So, how would you define your personal style? Different. Another dimension. I, as, I, as I always say, my style is out of the box. It's not in the box. <laughs> That's one thing I'll tell you. 
Okay. And, and your clothesline right now. Mm. Show me one of your favorite piece and why you designed that. How, okay. Who did you have in mind when you designed that? This one. It's just it's, this is I designed this for myself. <laughs> I had myself in mind when I did this one. So it's just like a um, corset. So you can put it over anything and just up anything. You can put it over your jacket, so your bodysuit. Let me take it off the hand so you can see it properly. So what's the inspiration there in this? Do you know what? I just think it looks sexy. For me, you just put it on when you're in dance hall. A lot of the girls. Let me just unfold it. A lot of the girls like to, you know, show off their good, good body. <laughs> so this <laughs> is something. Okay, so those that those, 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 those cover the hands. Just cover the hands. You can wear and any, everything else out. Anything you want to put underneath, you can put it over a bodysuit. You can put it over your cat suit. You can put it over your, your, your Nikazan bra. Any way you want to wear it, that's how you want to wear it. It's up to you. It's however you feel to wear it. You can put it over a nice little black dress, a plain so black dress. That's one of your favorite. This is one because it can wear with anything and make something plain stand out. Okay. Yeah. And do you got anything else to show? Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna leave that one there. I've got this one. Do you know what? I'm so terrible. I just made this in my lunch break at work today. Quickly. You made that today? Yeah. <laughs> in my lunch break because you know what I get a bit bored so in the lunch break I was so, like what can I do wait, so you create the old jacket from start to no, finish no this is a blazer so this is a blazer that was just that I've had there and I've just customised it so I sat down and customised it in my break today okay so this is just something that I just done so I was bored so I said what can I do and I thought oh yeah I've got some pink flowers and I thought let me just quickly add this to the blazer interesting Very interesting. So it does give, give the yeah, like, give it a little like bit a, of a like a, a, a simple little blazer, and it does bring some life to it. Basically, yes. And interesting. It up. So that's something I just oh, what can I do? I'm a bit bored. Let me just do that. And then okay. what I do want to actually show you. I should have said earlier, mm -hmm. my kids' jacket. So I'm also doing. A little mini boom fashionista range as well. So I'm trying to do a lot of stuff. See, it's just I me. Could, I don't have a team. I could see my kids and wearing these jackets. Mm. Yeah, they're cute. They're cute. Wow. Nice, beautiful. I like it. Little fashion babies. Yeah. Say little mini me's. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see this one. So, do we have a price for these? Uh, um, for the kids one? For the kids one. So, these jackets are £60. Wow. Which is a very good price. It's beautiful. And that's all hand done by me to sit down and put them on and sew the. So, you s you didn't make the, the. No, don't make the jacket. You don't make the I've jacket. I've customised the jacket. It's customised. So, yes. at the moment, you've customised and things. Yes. Them, but, but you got stuff that you make from yes. scratch. Eventually, you will see that come out soon. But at the moment, it's all about customising and upcycling because that's what the fashion industry is on at the moment, trying to save the environment at the same time. So, when you upcycle clothes, you're saving the environment at the same time. So, that's what I'm also looking at. Mm -hmm. Getting political as well. A very <laughs> <laughs> everything well, is politics. Mm -hmm. So, um, as we talk about copyright, because and things like that, because if you 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 you're customizing somebody else's labels, mm -hmm. so you have to be careful. Yeah. And since so sooner or later, when you can do your own design and yeah. you study law. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you understand. Well, the good thing about mm. it, you're not showing the labels in the other people's. No, I don't show. I don't show the labels. All the labels are taken out. It's just these are t these are my designs. So if somebody, and not anybody else's design. So, so, so somebody somebody can come and mm -hmm. buy a suit and say, okay, boom fashion. Mm -hmm. Can you customize this for me the way I want it? Yeah. And then things like and you do stuff like that. Yeah. Trainers. I do the crops. I don't have any with me, but if you go on my page. I do. I cost. I bring out the Crocs so shoes. What's What's your page? So at Boom Fashion Nine Three Two. Yeah. So Boom Fashion Nine Three Two. And that's and that's Instagram. That's my Instagram page. And I what's your have, Facebook? I don't have a Facebook page for my fashion. 
at the moment. Um, what does you watch your Snapchat? I don't do Snapchat for my fashion. I just do at the moment. It's just Instagram. So I've only started this in July. You need to be on. Every so I need platform. to. I know I need to be on. Every, so I'm s sort of slowly building everything. You need a PA. I know, but I'm my own PA. I will do it all for now. <laughs> for now. Work. For now. It's too for much now. because I can see summer coming, mm -hmm. and I can see you taking off. Yeah. I see you in the party. I see people gravitating to you. Yeah. I see people taking pictures with you. I see people come before you, mm -hmm. and no one looks at them. So you come different. Which is what my, my so, which is what my brand is all about. Being mind. different. So you start to get these little things mm -hmm. right now because the big time is just around the corner. I'm working on it. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely working on it. So as I said, don't forget. This is just a sample, sample pieces of the kids' range. We've got the adults, we've got the jackets. I do more than just show jackets. Us, show, us, show us the next piece. Let's, okay. let's tell us about it. Let's go through the, the line right, and okay. tell us about it. So let me take this one. I've got the trouser attached to it. I'm going to show you these trousers. So this would be worn with that jacket. Right. Let's turn turn it around because you haven't shown the okay. Yeah. That's the that's the that's the pom pom on the yeah. underneath. So it's like a pom pom girl in the jeans. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay. And then And then where would you what would you wear that with? Okay. Let's show the camera. Oh sorry. It, it, you'd rock it, you'd rock it together like that. The jeans and the jacket you could wear together. Well the jacket can be worn with anything. The jeans don't have to be worn with the jacket. You can just put on a little tight top, a little crop top. It just depends on how you want to accessorize your stuff, yeah? And then, let me get it back up. This is one of my, I love this jacket. So I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay. So this is one of my. So it's a jacket and a, but if, if you, you, how do you, how do they wear that? I'll explain that to you. So this can be worn with a bodysuit, a little dress underneath, leggings, jeep. It's down to how you want to model your clothes. Remember, it's not about... You see, next time they come in here... I'm going to bring my model. Bring I'm going to bring Fabulous with me next time I come to model everything. I will be bringing my model. But this is on my page. This is being modeled on my page. If you go on my page, you will see these things on my page. And I how see to a few girls. To be honest with you, yeah. I see a few girls in this before. And it looked nice. Yeah. So, they and it comes in, if you see it, we've got a black version on my page as well. So not everybody wants army, but I make them to order. So if you want it, I'll make it to Let's turn the, turn the back, let me see the back. See the back? Proper camouflage up and up. Yeah. So that's, this is one of my favorite Your pieces. Your styles are different. But, uh, listen, that's why, ladies, you need to come and check me. Fellas, definitely need to come and check me when I drop my pieces for you guys. And then I've got this. This, I call this the angel jacket because it's got the and it's gold and, and innocent like that. So I got mm -hmm. that. And it's for anybody, but this is my jacket because it's one of my favourite ones. Because I think I'm a little bit innocent. I'm a bit of an angel. So. <laughs> and then this one, um, I call this one Return of the Mac. You know the Mac. Mm -hmm. So this Return is this is a Mac. different. So they're giving it a different flavour. See the style of this one? Completely different flavour. So ladies, I can do shoes and bags to match your jackets as well. So you're fully boom fashioned out. <laughs> okay, dance hall is your target audience. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who else would you be ta you're targeting the kids? Yeah. So who else would you be targeting? So it'll be the kids, men's wear, men, men, women, kids. Anybody who are wearing my clothes can wear my what clothes. What about the church? The church oh, the is church, in fashion. The church can wear my clothes too. Well, you don't think the church will go into fashion? My mom is from in, well in the church and she's Miss fashion, Fashionista. Do you should be she's talking to Miss Fashion's mom. <laughs> Describe your goal to me. So my, so my goal is to become a global fashion icon with regards to making it big in the fashion world as a black female from the 
with Caribbean heritage and from the dance hall scene. I want to make it big. I want to be out there. I want to be styling, you know, the big celebs, the dance hall celebs, just the people in dance hall. I want to start styling you guys first and making my way up. And, you know, part of my journey is I'd like to make it really, really big and have house of home fashion eventually. Like you've got house of Gucci, house of... That's where I'm aiming. That's where I'm heading for. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you because you're Jamaican. I'm proud of you, I'm proud of you because you're a woman and people don't really give women of colour much chance. They think that you're supposed to be just having kids, stay at home, or go to dance hall, and people pour drink in your cup and you, you go no, home. Not this but woman. I like the way you're standing up. You're accounting. You're intelligent. You understand? Thank you. Tell us, um, do you have any plans for the to improve the fashion industry and what you see going wrong with the fashion industry? I feel like with the fashion industry, we need to start opening. They need to start opening the doors to to get the younger generation. Maybe having a. I know they do have apprenticeships, but it's extremely hard to get in to um, to work in some of these fashion houses, and they kind of go for a certain look. So I think for me, I want to break down the barriers with the look that everyone's going for. You know, the extremely, extremely slim models. We want models from all cultures, all shapes and sizes. And that's what my brand is about. I deal with everybody from all shapes and sizes, all backgrounds, all ethnic origins. And, you know, I just want my brand to be big and to appeal to everybody. But my main focus is to start within the dance because that is where my heart is. Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Probably not in the UK, in maybe in another country doing my fashion. Maybe not be based here. Maybe, it depends on where the fashion takes me. And wherever it takes me, that's where I'm going to go. But UK is fashion. Yes, Europe is the heart of fashion, yes. But I feel like it's a lot harder to break the fashion industry within the UK. Maybe in another country I might be... A lot of it is because people just assume as a black female we, 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 we're very we're very much stereotyped so they probably just assume that even without talking to the country I probably won't want to work with her because she's probably going to get angry aggressive whatever for me I feel like black females are very much misinterpreted we're always sort of seen as like, anytime we talk about something we're aggressive why can't we be seen as passionate when I talk I talk with my hands a lot I don't know if you've noticed I do talk with my hands a lot but that's gesticulating that's talking with your hands but when we talk with our hands, it's seen as an aggression. And when we're pa when we're passionate about something, we're saying, oh, you're aggressive. No, it's not aggression, it's we're passionate. How and that's why we become vocal. How do you accept criticism? Oh, I'm very much for constructive criticism. I can take constructive criticism very easily. And if somebody gives me good constructive criticism, I will work with it, learn from it, and develop myself. And work on what, if somebody says, well, look, if I was to go to somebody that's been in the like, like maybe Vivian Westwood, if I was to speak to her and she was to say to me that you need to do this, this, I would take it as, oh, you're not doing this piece right, or I would take it as constructive criticism, go back to the drawing board and come back. But as I always say, I don't draw my designs. I don't sit here and say, oh. visualise it in my head, and I just get up and start doing it. It could come at one o'clock in the morning, it could come at, it depends, whatever time, I just get up and start making what I want to make, because that's what I've seen and I want to see. It. And I just, that's one thing. That's where the passion comes from, when they say boom fashion, passion for fashion. That's where it comes from. When I think of a design, I get up and I need to start making it. Because I want to see it come to life. And then I love it even more when someone's got it on. Boom fashion, your clothes are in the street. Thank you. I see it. Thank you. You see it. I took a seat. <laughs> a lot of people see it. The world is your whole pin. Yeah. Take it. Go for it. Definitely. Oh, I'm, de I'm definitely going to go for it. You see me? One thing about me, I like a challenge. And I don't like to lose. I like to win. Well, for sure. Next time you come in, make sure you bring your model to model of clothes. I will definitely be my right. And well, for sure, it's lovely to have you here. Nice speaking to you. You're warm. You're intelligent. And you're going to be that lady you want to be. Thank you. I really appreciate um, 
accept me to come onto this platform. It's for me, it's a really, really big platform. I was like really excited when he said, Oh, I'd love to interview you. So, thank you so much, folks. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. People, <laughs> anything you want to advertise, anything you want to talk about, this is the platform. This is a platform for it. We build people, we don't break people. This is a platform where we come together, we help each other. Okay? Feel free to call me anytime. We don't charge. Thank you.